Motherfuckers are always asking me, Hood, you a big boy. Where you get your confidence from? I be like, I caught it on sale at the 99 cent store, motherfucker. Y'all ready to slide into some of these hood facts? Hey, what's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy, and it's now time for this week's hood facts. <laughs> anyway, let me ask you this. How many people you think in life go along with the flow, do shit, say shit, agree with shit that they deep inside don't agree with, but the reason they go along with the flow and the reason they agree with certain things is because they don't want to start any kind of controversy. You know, I was just watching the news and a couple of things on the news that I just seen, like entertainment news, like <laughs> a whole bunch of shit, you know, the McKinney situation, Bruce Jenner situation, Miley Cyrus, all that shit, and other just shit that's in the entertainment news. And I wonder how many people just say, oh, I'm so happy, and just go along with the flow because they don't want to see how they really feel and they don't want to start any beef or any controversy. Do you think like that? Anyway, but that's not what your hood facts about. It's now time to slide into your motherfucking hood facts. So what's up with you hood folks? Anyway, so on today's hood facts, we are talking about don't be friends with one-sided friends. Don't fuck with one-sided people. Don't be putting yourself, giving your all to friends that ain't about shit that's on that fuck shit. <laughs> I know you're like, what you mean, hood? All right, you know how you got that friend where you always there for them, but when you need them to be there for you, they ain't there. And then you, a lot of people will be like, well, they're a good person, you know? So the, for the sake of this story today, the friend we're talking about is Joe Blow. Now, I don't know nobody named Joe Blow, but today we're just going to use Joe Blow as an example of the friend we're talking about. All right, so we got Jeremy and Joe Blow. You feel me? All right, so let's say Jeremy is that type of friend that is always there, always the backbone, always the voice of reason, always the one that give good advice and always can get up any time of morning or day to talk to Joe Blow to help Joe Blow out with any situation, right? But when it comes down to when Jeremy needs somebody, I need a friend, I need a homie, I need whoever, you know, Joe Blow is never around. I don't like that. Let me see. I used to watch this TV show, Girlfriends. I know y'all like, Hollywood, you watch Girlfriends? It was funny. But anyway, I used to watch the show, Girlfriends, and I cannot remember. It was a character on the show, and she had some big lips and some big old titties. She was a good-looking lady, you know. She was fine as hell, but she, and I mean, I know there was just a character on the show, but, but you know, but she was wack as fuck as a character on the show. I can't think of her name. I don't even feel like Googling her name because, you know, shit, I don't even feel like getting about the couch or this chair going to look for it. But anyway, on the show, Girlfriends, there were four different girls on the show. And the other three girls seemed like they catered to this one girl. She was real bougie. She was stuck up. She was snobby. What the fuck is that girl name? Damn what the chick name from Girlfriend with the big old lips and the big titties. And she was dark skinned. Damn, I can't think her name. But by the time you watch this video, her name will be on the screen some fucking well. <laughs> anyway, but she was a horrible friend. If you watch Girlfriends, you know how what kind of friend she was. That's what I'm speaking about today. Don't fuck around with them people like that. Anyway, <clears throat> so shit like that. So let's go on and do this. All right. So let's say, Jeremy, uh, put your name in the blank. My name is Jeremy, but whoever you are, put your name right here. Boom. <laughs> so you could be Susie, Shaniqua, Rhonda, James, Keith, <laughs> Lamont, <laughs> Betty, whoever the fuck your name is. So whoever your name is, but in my case is Joe Blow and Jeremy. So Jeremy had a long day at work. Supervisor tripping, co-workers tripping, car tripping, get home, wash machine not working, ain't no dinner in the house. You know, just a whole bunch of shirts for shit. So Jeremy picked up the phone and called Joe Blow. Hey, man, what's up, Joe Blow? Man, I had a day from hell today. Man, so much stress on me today. So much bullshit going here. One thing going right with me with dead and whatever. And, you know, blah, 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 did. So instead of Joe Blow being a friend and listening to Jeremy, Joe Blow starts to interrupt and tell Jeremy about all his problems. Don't fuck with people like that. Don't fuck with people that can't ever take time to listen to you and they want you to always listen to them. Whenever a conversation starts, 
Whatever you make the situation about you and you start the conversation, they don't agree with you or disagree with you. They just take over the conversation and turn everything around and make it about them. Don't fuck with them kind of people. Also, Joe Blow and Jeremy, we cool. Man, let's go out and get some drinks tonight. All right, let's go. Jeremy, go pick up, gotta pick up Joe Blow, okay? Jeremy gotta go and pay for the drinks. Jeremy gotta pay for the food. Jeremy paying to get in the club. Jeremy, like, damn. Jeremy paying for, we go to the mall. Man, I like them earring. Man, I like that jewelry. I like them shoes. Jeremy paying for this. Don't be that friend that's always paying. Always pulling out their wallet. Always pulling out their credit card, their cash. Don't do that. I don't give a fuck if you a billionaire and Joe Blow ain't got nothing but a job at Wendy's. Fuck that. Sometimes you should have friends that pan, and sometimes friends should contribute. Most times friends should contribute. You feel me? Fuck shit like that. Don't fuck with them one-sided friends. That's what I'm talking about like that. Or you might be having a big event in your life. You know, let's say today is your wedding day. Or today is the day you get your new car. Or the day you get your new house or you graduate from college or whatever. Joe Blow ain't never there for nothing. He wasn't there for you to graduate from college. He didn't come to your wedding. He wasn't there when your baby was born. He wasn't there when you got your brand new house, when you got your apartment, when you got a goddamn new George Foreman grill or whatever. Joe Blow ain't never, never there. But whenever Joe Blow gets something, he expects you to always be in attendance. He expect, well, actually, he expects me to always be in attendance. Don't fuck with one-sided friends. Don't fuck with one-sided friends. That's what your hood facts about. And that don't necessarily have to be your friends. This can be your mama. This can be your your daddy, your family, your cousin, your uncle, and them. <laughs> Anybody. Don't be around people that try to be one-sided. One-sided. Everything is about them and they never there for you. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Fuck that. If anybody tell you, well, they're a good person. You know, they, they good. They good inside. Fuck that good inside. Fuck all that. They're a good person. They nice. Fuck all that shit. Go somewhere else and be a good person to somebody else. Because you're not a good person to me. You feel me? So, them are your hood facts right there. All I'm telling you, don't fuck with one side of friends. Don't fuck with them people that ain't there for you. But, hey, as always, I'm just a loud, ghetto-ass country boy from Alabama. What the fuck do I know? Them your hood facts, all right?